There are different ways uh, you can work with typography, formatting and Microsoft Publisher. So let us work with this one. So once you hover over and click on the text, you can see that on the top, there's text box tools, which is the typo uh, typography settings, which appears when I select a text. So I'm going to click on it. And over here, you can see that on the side, you see something called typography. So there are different type of number styles, and then you can style, you can have stylus set, um, as you can see right there. And right now, you can see that um, not everything is enabled. This is actually enabled according to the font that, that you select. So I'm going to select all of it. And let, let me select a font such as Calibri right here. All right, so Calibri, press Enter. And once you do that, you can see that uh, a lot of typography options over here appears. So there's number styles, uh, ligatures, and other options that are just got enabled right here. So let us work with drop cap right here. So I'm going to select the first paragraph and I'm going to click on drop cap. And you can see that there are a lot of drop cap options that you can choose from where the first letter is larger than the others. So I can go over here. There's a different style that you can choose, different type of thickness, different styles and so forth. You can also go to custom drop cap options right here and you can see that there are different options. So you can, you have the W, you can increase the lines right here. Just like this, press OK. Let me just select this out. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go into drop cap, custom drop cap. And you can go for drop and increase the lines. Yeah, so line drop is three or two or so forth. Press apply. And there you go, as you can see right there. You can also increase the size of letters just like this. So you can increase the size to five lines or six lines accordingly. And you can also increase the number of letters uh, right here. You can also select a different font right here, press apply. So there's a different font and you can have a different font style as well, like italic or bold it like this, like this. So this font does not support it. Let me just select another font, bold, just like that. And you can see that different styles is actually being applied right there. Uh, you can also go for a different color right here. So there's bold, you can use the current font style, use the current font as well if you want. So if you use the current font, it'll match up with the one that is actually available over there. So I'm going to press OK and you can see that the style has been applied according to what I chose over here. There's also number styles. There are no numbers here, so I'm going to type one manually. Like I'm going to say 201, just like that. And you can see that this is how the number appears. I'm going to select this out and I'm going to choose number style. So this is default proportional lining and it actually has a proportional lining as you can see to the numbers now. So everything is proportional. And if I were to change this into tabular lining, you can see that there's a bit of a spacing in between proportional old lining. So you can see that uh, an old telephone number style format actually appears over here. Once you select this one tabular old style and you can see that a space is is being appeared right there. If I were to go to default, you can see that the number actually changes. I'm going to select all of these and there's our ligatures right here. So if you were to do standard, you can see that a bit of a change uh, to the text is actually applied just like that and ligatures are applied. I'm going to go over here, no ligatures and the ligatures are actually removed standard. So you can see that small changes are actually present just like that. So in small changes just like that are present. So different styles, ligatures are actually applied. So if I were to zoom in, for example, for uh, EST, you can see that the T is arranged like that. A, B, C. So um, everything has a different ligature. So you can see that T is organized like that and so forth, just like that. All right. Another thing is the stylus set as well. So I can select it all. And the stylus set actually gives a small scene, the subtle scene this right here. So most of them actually looks quite uh, the same. But you can see that small changes actually happen. So I'm going to go into here into stylus sets go over here. Stylus sets, small changes. So these aren't different at all. So you can see that small space changes are actually there just like that. Also alternative uh, formats are also there for each of the style sets chosen. So these are some of the typography options that is provided uh, by Microsoft Publisher. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.